it's like Al Pacino having a baby at 82. It's like starting all over again. <laughs> Like, Great you analogy. <laughs> you know, what it feels like to me, but but good, it's all good. <laughs> you know, I love the fact that it's been reported. You know, he's got a three year deal waiting. Whenever he feels like signing it, like that's just such a a pop sentence to me, mm -hmm. um, because the joke's always been that there's going to be no heads up. It's just going to be a text, and he's done. And then this happens, and and sort of like a new lease on life. And the fact that he has all of the the guys from the teams that he loved the most, they're all still around and they still, I mean, most of them are part of the team. They do things with the team already. I, I think there's a renewed sense of coaching. It, there was already that with Jeremy Sohan last year. A lot of people, you know, I grant people didn't watch Spurs games, but he was already, you could see him taking him under him, you know, arm and walking him off the court, teaching him, coaching him. There's like a love there. I think the fact that Jeremy is a unique guy on his own, Pop likes that. Um, and now we have, this generational, hopefully once-in-a-lifetime type player come in. Yeah, it's, it makes the job fun.